Good morning, Rebels. Happy New Year, and welcome back to my life. Tomorrow marks a huge change in my life, and my wife's life, because my wife is closing down her daycare. For almost three years, she's been running a daycare out of our home, and in the last year and a half since I left my full-time job, it's been making way more money than I have. Closing down the daycare may not seem like the smartest thing to do, but it's definitely the right thing to do, at least for us, at least right now. Because handling anywhere between 6 and 16 kids every day is physically and mentally exhausting, and my wife is tired of feeling tired. The whole reason she she started the daycare in the first place was to be at home for our kids as they grew up. And now Luke and Don are in school and Desmond is approaching daycare age, so that reason doesn't exist anymore. And yeah, running a daycare is exhausting. I have helped her on days or weeks when she had too many kids and I could not do that as a job. It is draining. So now Meg is going to start up her own online business in collaboration with some other members of the family and she might be starting her own YouTube channel. Stay tuned for that. It's definitely a bit scary, but it's right for us right now. And what worked for us as a family unit three years ago just isn't working anymore. And we didn't really plan it that way, but it just happens to be happening right at the beginning of the new year when people are forming resolutions and starting new phases of their life. While this is a big transition and right now sort of feels like the biggest change we've ever gone through, when you look at it objectively, it's really not. Having our third child, Desmond, was a major change that it required us to readjust our lives quite a bit. When we had our second child, Luke, that was when we moved into the house and she opened up the daycare in the first place. And I started my nine to five job to support the family. That was a huge change. When we had our first child, Dawn, that was when I left the place that I was working then and we actually moved back in with my parents for a while, partially for financial reasons, but partially because of my mom's health. Not just every couple of years, but every year. Actually, multiple times a year, there are big things that happen in our lives that cause us to readjust what we're doing and how we're doing it to fit our situation right now. This shift might be so big that I do have to go back to the workplace, but I don't think so. I think 2015 is going to be the year of epic book sales. My point is this. We all make resolutions and life plans and decide what we want to do with ourselves. This is a constant evolving process through our lives. And if you're, say, in high school or college and you're worried about what you're going to do with yourself when you graduate and finish school, finally, you need to think about it with the right perspective. Very few things you do will lock you into one course of action. Very few things you do will irrevocably alter the course of your life. What is right for you right now might not be right for you in five years. And after those five years, it is okay to change what you are doing. I feel like the last generation grew up in a time where you could get a job right out of college, work that job for 40 some odd years, and retire with a pension and social security. And while I've seen significant evidence that that situation didn't exist for even a large portion of Americans, much less the majority, that whole narrative is very prevalent in today's society. I know I'm only 28 and I haven't seen everything, but for me, that world doesn't seem to exist anymore, if it ever did. Right now it feels like those who adapt and change their environment, rearranging their life for what it needs to be for today's world that they exist in are the ones who are doing the best, or who are at least the happiest happiest doing. And I think that's what's really most important anyway. Best of luck with all your plans going into the new year, Rebels. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye!